welcome everybody. Really great to see so many of you here today. This is the second EIP Clinical Forum. Today very much going to be focused on delivery, what do we do together as a community across Kent, Surrey and Sussex, and what was coming through so many of the debates and challenges that were being raised was around workforce. So how do we get an EIP workforce which is really fit for purpose to deliver some of the kind of the, the challenging national standards and deliverables. So my name's Jay, I work in the national team and I work on the EIP standard. So the EIP standard is about getting people uh, with first episode psychosis into treatment quickly, so within two weeks, um, and then making sure that they get a good quality package of care. EIP, one year on. Today I'm just going to cover a bit around the standard and how we got here. Events like today in the South East are amazing that they bring together a range of commissioners and EI teams across the area to really pull together all of the best practice that's happening and to really come together, I suppose, to make plans and actions for how they're going to improve um, their performance against the standard and how they can improve care for their patients as well. We were quite lucky in Surrey because uh, when they brought in the new targets, the access wait time standard was quite an easy thing for us to achieve because we were already hitting anyway. The difficulty lies in where we've got smaller CCGs and smaller patches so we may only have one or two referrals that month and obviously if one breaches that's an issue because then we're going to not hit the 50%. But on the whole we're doing well, we're sitting at about an average of 74 since we've been doing this now so uh, we're doing quite well. I think we've got a lot of work to do in terms of how we uh, collect information around interventions. So I think that's our next step is to accurately record what interventions are supplied by the team and how that affects the patients really. I think there are a number of things that we'll take back to our leadership team. I think the idea of having clear responsibilities and, and somebody in a leadership role overseeing physical health, CBT, family interventions, vocational interventions kind of across our teams um, is something we've thought about before but I'm really keen that we, we take that idea back and that we really kind of make that clarity kind of happen in our services. We want a service that is genuinely responsive to the needs of our communities and with that focus on enabling people to get better. We're also going to talk to the trust data teams to ensure that they implement the requirements to record interventions using SNOMAP from April 17th. I quite liked having commissioners, NHS England and providers in the room together. The workshops were really useful and also the presentation from NHS England about the national picture and what the expectations are. But I think for me it is around the sharing of ideas outside one trust. I think utilising the whole regional thinking, looking at how different things are done, that is the highlight and will be the highlight of the day no matter what. I think we've got so many different ways in each trust of delivering uh, our expectations and meeting our standards. We're commissioned in different ways, we've got different ideas about how we set up our services and I think it's that sharing that is the highlight because that's going to dictate how we can all go forward and what we can learn from each other.